These are the dangers of artificial superintelligence. Many of us roll our eyes seeing this headline. Stephen Hawking warns that rise of robots may be disastrous for mankind. Artificial intelligence, the revolutionary and game-changing technology for the world, could it really become a life existential threat to humans? Could it really result in human extinction or some unrecoverable global catastrophe? The technology only limited to face recognition on internet searches for only driving a car by today. Could it really someday become the reason for the extinction of the human race? What do you think? It sounds scary, isn't it? Is it something we will be ready to face? And how the mind-blowing advancement in technology is going to affect you? Let's find out. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it, to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. It is believed that AI could be the worst event in our civilization's history unless we discover how to plan for and prevent probable threats. Being an AI enthusiast, you must have heard about Stuart Armstrong from the Future of Life Institute who has spoken of AI as an extinction risk. He mentioned that even nuclear conflicts are on a different level in terms of damage since they would only kill a small percentage of the planet's population. Ditto pandemics, even at their most lethal phase. But if AI fails and kills 95% of humanity, the remaining 5% will be exterminated soon after. Scary, right? Just imagine a world where AI being competent will be misaligned with our thoughts. And misaligned intelligence, it doesn't need a body or internet connection. It is the deadliest death itself. Considering the quantity and breadth of unfathomably horrific catastrophes in world history, just imagine how terrifying and lethal super artificial intelligence can be. Let's dive in to know. Job automation is often seen as the most pressing concern. It's no longer a question of whether or not AI will replace specific sorts of occupations. It's a question to what extent. In many industries, notably but not exclusively those whose workers perform predictable and repetitive tasks, disruption is well underway. 36 million people work in professions that are very susceptible to automation, which means that at least 70% of their operations, ranging from retail sales and market analysis to hospitality and warehouse labor, will be automated using AI in the near future. So if you might wonder if AI is coming after your job, then hell yeah, it is. Would we feel bad about it? Of course, but that's besides the point. Any software made through AI would increase productivity by 70% and eradicate roughly 95% of errors. From a purely business-centric, single bottom-line perspective, there is no legal reason that humans shouldn't be fired, isn't it? Humans may become unnecessary. Once AI can quickly trawl through reams of data and make autonomous judgments, it's called the former being poised for a massive shakeup. Artificial intelligence has an inexhaustible need for data, both historical and current. What we say and do will be far more on the record, putting it in jeopardy all the time. Talking about our privacy, it seems like a joke. Deepfakes are already influencing celebrities and international leaders, and it'll only be a matter of time before they reach ordinary people. Scammers, for example, are already using deepfake films made from something as easy and accessible as a Facebook profile photo to blackmail individuals. That isn't the only danger. AI can clone voices, replicate and alter photographs, and make highly targeted advertising automatically. Scary, right? Facial recognition errors, manipulation of the data, accelerated hacking of the systems, AI terrorism, biased systems, and so many other data theft techniques will be on such a huge rise. Believe me, we'll see uncontrolled disasters on every edge. Don't you feel the same way that AI, which was supposed to free humans, is somehow becoming the means to really restrict our options? Measurements and manipulation of people are the two things AI has proved to be particularly adept at. Our lives will not improve if we abdicate our responsibilities to undertake personal due diligence because AI does it better, or avoid non-consensus thinking because AI considers it suboptimal, or avoid taking independent action because AI considers it unsafe. We all know that AI is excellent at producing linear mathematical outputs, yet it is an algorithm that makes judgments based on systematic datasets. The algorithms are devoid of emotional intelligence. These algorithms are designed to discover the path with the least amount of resistance. If we rely completely on AI for decision-making, then get ready for the enormous consequences which are yet to come. 
Yes, you heard it right, it's not the end, but merely the beginning. The most deadly part is yet to come. Autonomous Weapons – The Potential AI Arm Race Each revolution, like the first was the invention of gunpowder, was a stage change in the speed and productivity with which we could kill our adversaries. Autonomous weapons will bring mass wrecking. What if we fail aligning our goals with the machines? If a super-intelligent machine is charged with a large-scale geoengineering project, there's no doubt that there is a possibility that it may cause chaos in our ecosystem as a side consequence, and see human attempts to halt it as a danger that must be defeated. It's just that a super-intelligent AI will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if these goals aren't aligned with ours, harsh to admit, but we have called with ourselves for a hell of a problem here. Let's take an example. We're probably not an evil ant hater who steps on ants out of malice, but if we're in charge of a hydroelectric green energy project and there's an ant hill in the region to be flooded, too bad for the ants, isn't it? A key goal of AI safety research is to never place humanity in the position of those ants. Artificial intelligence has gone about as the primary driver of arising advances like enormous information, mechanical technology, and IoT, and it will keep on going about as a mechanical trendsetter for years to come. Some say that we, the people, are regional in nature, meaning we like to feel in charge to have a solid sense of reassurance. Assuming something is unclear to us, and in this manner beyond our reach, similar to AI, then we dread it. But is it so wrong? Because machines can gather, follow, and analyze so much information about you, it's extremely likely they'll use it against you. The most pressing decision for mankind now is whether to launch or avoid a global AI weapons competition. Artificial intelligence, as we all know, is the future of humanity. It brings with it a plethora of opportunities as well as unpredictable risks. Whoever ascends to the top of this sphere will become the ruler of the world. As the concerns of the AI-driven security issues grow, AI-driven preventative methods will grow as well. We risk waging a never-ending race against bad actors unless we can devise methods to defend ourselves from AI threats. This raises the question of how we might make AI systems more safe and ensure that we might not end up like the ants and call it fate. For the starting, we must guarantee that AI algorithms are secure against malicious actors if we utilize them to guard against various security threats. So before wrapping this all up, all we have to say is humans seek to develop AI for the greater welfare of its kind. But it's our duty to make sure that it is capable of cooperating with us. All we have to do is be aware of the threats, recognize them, utilize the greatest possible practice and management, and plan ahead of the repercussions. What kind of future do we desire for ourselves? Should we build lethal autonomous weapons? Or do we want to see it happen in terms of job automation? Do we prefer new jobs replacing the old ones? Or a jobless society where everyone enjoys a life of leisure and machine-produced wealth? Will intelligent machines take our place, coexist with us, and eventually merge with us? In the age of artificial intelligence, what does it mean to be a human? Comment down your thoughts in the comments box below. That's it for the day, guys. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of technology-related news. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Until then, peace.